dugsiga boarding ke ya malala ah e amano amano boarding and thank everybody and i will come you to this tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to look at diffusion when you talk about diffusion we mean the movement of molecules from region of high concentration to region of low concentration for example you can wear perfume but someone who is like five meters away from you will be able to smell that perfume that means the perfume molecules have moved from you where their concentration is high to that person where they are concent where the concentration is low when you come to diffusion it is affected by a number of factors a number of factors determine how fast molecules will move from the region of high concentration to low concentration one we have the mass of diffusing molecules heavy molecules move slowly but lighter molecules they always diffuse or move faster than those molecules that are heavy they can easily move quickly the second factor is temperature at high temperature molecules have high kinetic energy and they move faster than at low temperature the third factor is the concentration gradient or the difference in concentration between the two regions the bigger or the greater the concentration gradient between the two regions the higher the rate of diffusion so we have this illustration as you can see i have this beaker containing white fumes but you can see that white fumes are moving from the beaker to outside where their concentration is low we come to experiment demonstrating diffusion in gases diffusion takes place only in gases and liquids so we have this illustration I have two beakers as you can see I have the lower beaker and then the upper one they are separated by a gas jar lid a lid is a cover so the bottom gas jar I fill it with a colored gas in this case I'm using bromine which is orange then I invert an empty gas jar so when I slowly remove this gas jar lid you can see that this top gas jar is colorless it contains only air but if i remove this jar you will see gas molecules diffusing moving from the bottom filling up the top gas jar and even the color will start changing this gas jar will begin turning orange and the bottom one will begin to become faint orange because some molecules have moved and occupied the top gas jar so here we have the steps already we said you fill the lower gas jar with bromine gas you leave the top jar empty you separate them with a lid and when you remove the lid the gas molecules will diffuse from the lower jar to the upper jar until they will all have equal number of molecules and they will have the same color so here there are many questions they can ask on this gas jar they can ask what observations are made after a few minutes you will realize that this one will become light orange and then this one will become orange also reason some molecules have moved from the lower jar to the upper jar in that experiment like all other experiments there are safety precautions that we have to take one we have to wear eye protection 
we have to use a fume cupboard. We have to use a fume cupboard. We have to use a fume cupboard. Uh, since when you inhale bromine and you have some health, it can cause serious difficult. It can cause serious health problems for someone who already has breathing difficulties, like some respiratory diseases, like pneumonia. Then we come to experiment two. Here we use a, a glass tube, as you can see, it has two open ends. I get a cotton wool, soak it in concentrated ammonia solution, and put at one end. I close with a rubber bang. Then I get uh, another cotton wool, soak it in concentrated hydrochloric acid, put at this end, and I close with a rubber bang. Then this cotton wool contains ammonia, hydrochloric acid which acts as a source for hydrogen chloride. Then this one contains ammonia. So the gases begin diffusing through the tube. Ammonia will be diffusing towards this direction and hydrogen chloride will be diffusing towards the other direction. When they meet, they will react and form a white ring of ammonium chloride. So already we say that when they meet, uh, they were, we are going to have this reaction. We have ammonia reacting with hydrogen chloride. So I'll have ammonia here. Reacting with hydrogen chloride. Giving me ammonium chloride. And then this is a solid. These are the this is the white ring. And we call it ammonium. Chloride. But when you look When you look at this tube, these two gases, they will meet, they will not meet in the middle. This is the center of the tube, the middle of the tube. That they will meet towards this end of hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid. The reason is that this hydrochloric acid diffuses slowly. It is heavy. While this ammonia is light so the molecules are moving faster so they will move faster and meet close to the end of hydrogen chloride so we have the here we have the reason why the white ring does not form in the middle or why does it form towards the end with hydrogen chloride the reason is that ammonia diffuses faster than hydrogen chloride and why does it diffuse faster? It's because ammonia has a smaller mass. It is lighter. Its mass, uh, its mass is 17 grams. If you look in the periodic table, the relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. And hydrogen, it is 3. But remember the hydrogen... If you look at the mass, ammonia is like this. 
So nitrogen is 14 plus 1 times 3. Each hydrogen is 1, but there are 3. So this gives you 17 grams. But for hydrogen chloride, chlorine, hydrogen is 1 plus chlorine, which is 35.5, which gives you 36.5 grams. So you can see that this mass, <coughs> this one is heavier than this. That's why it diffuses slowly. So we have this illustration, as you can see. This is the beginning of our experiment. This is ammonia. This is hydrogen chloride. Now they have started to move, as you can see. They are moving towards, the, the, to, uh, towards they are diffusing towards the center of the tube. But you can see these ones have moved a longer distance than this. Then you finally, when they meet, they react and form what you call ammonium chloride. And it is, they are meeting towards the end with hydrogen chloride. We come to safety precautions. We have to wear eye protection. We have to avoid contact with ammonia and hydrochloric acid. Because ammonia is alkaline and it's concentrated. This is acidic and also concentrated. So they are, this one is corrosive. We should avoid inhalation of any of those fumes. And the apparatus should be cleaned after in a working fume cupboard. Because we don't need to inhale the gases. So thank you for watching. And we have this assignment which I would like you to try and submit